morning, everyone. Um, first thing I'll say is I apologize for my voice. We've had a lot of smoke in the air from the Kansas uh, fires. They do a controlled burning down there every year. All the smoke comes up here and it decides to settle in my sinuses and in my lungs. So first of all, I'd like to apologize for that. Uh, second of all, uh, we're gonna take a little bit, bit of a break working on the sprayer and we're gonna switch over to the planter here. Um, just routine maintenance in the spring. We're gonna pull all the boxes off, check all the springs, make sure all the wheels are turning, make sure the brushes are clean and all there like they're supposed to be will be the first step and then we'll move on from there. still have some corn in there. So the main thing here is to make sure that all of these little springs snap back into place. brush looks good that looks pretty good I like to uh, check the belt here make sure there's no weird cuts or nicks or stupid stuff because we all hate stupid stuff all right that looks good all right so if that one looks good I'm gonna put it back together and then we'll do it 12 more times, excuse me, we'll do it 11 more times because this is 12. And then we'll move on to the next step. Now we'll just seat it so that fits in that groove. You could probably do this with a driver, but I prefer to do it with a wrench because I don't want to crush them. These are fiberglass and they're really gross and they get, they collect dust and they make you itchy. Snug it up a little bit, not too much. Move on to the next one. Here's what I was talking about when they get over tightened here. This little piece came off when I opened it and it's supposed to be right there. But I think I'm just gonna uh, super glue it in there. It's not the best, but it's, 
this got over tightened at some point and it's getting brittle so I'm just gonna super super glue that in there okay this is a real question has anybody in the history of super glue ever used the whole tube of super glue or even been able to because the cap seals up so tight that you can't use it and it just gets hard like they could make these like a quarter of this size and you'd still never use it all honest question let me know what you think. Have you ever used the whole tube of super glue? Huge front just blew in and it's blowing the door around over there. You can probably hear all that wind. But it's supposed to go up to 85 degrees today and then we're supposed to get thunderstorms. It's just noisy. All right, I'm gonna uh, take a little break and go up to the wheel of death and get some lunch. so strong it was uh, blowing the tin that came off the roof this winter. It all nice and stacked and strapped together but it uh, broke the straps and it was about ready to blow out of the field. So I don't know I just I, could, I tried to stack it up by hand but it was gonna tear me apart and blowing so hard so I just decided eh, I'll just put the bucket of the tractor and just smush it down and I can't blow anywhere. Problem is, is we have to. We're having some people come out here and fertilize this field, so hopefully I can get this out of here before they have to fertilize. Should be a couple days, especially if we get rain tonight. Okay, I just finished up uh, checking all those boxes, and I have enough corn left over from the little bits that was left inside of them that I'm gonna see if I can do a manual demonstration for anybody that has never seen one of these things work. There's lots of different types of planters. This is kind of way ours works. This one's an older model, like all of our stuff, it's older. So there's probably way better technology out there, but this is how ours works. Let's see if I can do this. Basically what would happen is you'd have your, your corn be sitting in there. Little fingers, they pick it up, kind of tighten their little grip on it. And then they get up here, they'll spit it out there. And it comes, should eventually come out the bottom drops into your hole. Pretty basic. So I was gonna end videoing for today um, when I was done working with the planner, but uh, we're in for another round of thunderstorm. Again, this will probably be nothing, but I hate to be the guy that videotaped his own death because he was trying to get a good shot of a tornado. I think that's all we're gonna get. It uh, just kind of blew through really fast. There's a really thin, skinny one, and uh, I think it's over. So I think tomorrow we will be probably removing all the press wheels off of the planter. That'll be exciting. See you tomorrow. Thank you.